Welcome back to Social Media Journalism, an online course for the University of Texas at Austin. I'm the instructor, Robert Quigley, and this module is on aggregation, the art of finding great stories. And in this class, we're all about aggregation. So you should seek out stories that are interesting to you, that you would share with your friends. We're not originating any stories in this class, and that of course is the backbone of journalism, but you'll do plenty of that in your other classes. We're looking for good stories to share. If a particular topic gets a lot of interest, in other words, there's a lot of likes on Facebook or retweets or repins, run with it. Don't just go on to something else. And on the flip side, it could be just you. So pick from varied, trusted sources of information. As you go further along into the class, you'll get pretty comfortable knowing what works and what does not. It would help you a lot if you organize the information. So look for good, trusted, and interesting sources. And then expand using social networks. We should curate good sources of content with Twitter lists, Facebook lists, Pinterest following the Tumblr dashboard. Those are all great ways to find new content. Google Alerts are also our friends. So set up several surrounding hot news topics and things that are interesting to you. If you haven't used Google Alerts before, you really should give it a try. It looks pretty much like this. You just go to google.com slash alerts and set them up. You can set up several for uh, different topics that you're interested in or topics that you think you might want to share on social NN. Once you do that, you can get emails once a day or any time that keyword is mentioned anywhere on Google. Also, you should set up Twitter lists. Feel free to make some for social NN. Students in past semesters have made different lists. Use those. Add them to your tweet deck columns. Check out the TweetDeck demo if you're unsure of how to do that. You should also use Tumblr's dashboard to try to find great content to share. We are following quite a few blogs, several, several hundred, so there's plenty of chances for you to find content and discover new content that way. Also, check out the Tumblr demo, which is also linked to off of Blackboard, for how you could search through Tumblr and find even more information beyond the blogs we already follow. On Facebook, you should like a variety of news sources. You could do this from your own account, or you could do it as Social NN. On Pinterest, we should be following others' newsy and interesting boards. So when I say newsy, it could be a stretch. You could pick things that are not really that newsy, but you might share some of their stuff at some point. It really doesn't hurt anything to follow somebody, so give it a shot, and you could always unfollow later. You should also check out other platforms such as Reddit because the people in those communities surface good content to the front or at least funny content to the front and there's nothing wrong with funny but if you look there's some votes on the left and you, people in the community vote stories up or down so really good stuff will make it to the front page. That is a good way to find a story that might be hot before anybody else has seen it or at least anybody outside of Reddit. You should also look into having Flipboard on your mobile devices. If you have an iPad or an Android tablet, uh, definitely download uh, Flipboard. It's free and it's amazing. If you have a, a mobile phone, most mobile phones can handle it as well. And it's a, a really great way to kind of aggregate news for you. You pull in by interest, it pulls in the content. And then from there, you'll probably find some stories that you think, hey, I bet our social NN uh, audience would enjoy this story. The main thing you should do, though, is be just a good news consumer. Take in a lot of news. This is a journalism course. I'm hoping all of you are news junkies. You should be following all kinds of news accounts with your personal Twitter account. You should be reading print editions of magazines and newspapers. You should be watching cable news and local news. You should be reading several different websites. You should have alerts set up to your phone. Consume, consume, consume. The more you know at your fingertips, the better you're going to be as an aggregator. Well, that's it for aggregation. Of course, there's many other ways to aggregate news. These are just a few of my favorite tips. Now head on over to Blackboard and take the quiz.